missing link between every projection of development and translation of really robust uh, progression is morality. It is the absence of morality in the system of governance in Nigeria that will make whatever projection we are designing a mirage. If we don't have discipline, discipline of mind and reason is the number one thing. Uh, there is sharp difference between what public officers professes in writing or officially in their offices and what they do while they are hidden as an individual. Uh, we should take leadership as an instrument of leadership as an instrument of service to humanity by God. Service of God. You are only a vice gerent, a representative of God on earth to translate justice, equity and fair play on behalf of God to the citizen. If you take it in that context, then you will see that you will be able to really discharge the responsibilities on you with the highest sense of moral rectitude. But in a situation whereby you look at public office as an avenue for you to evaluate yourself, I mean to elevate yourself vis-a-vis uh, -vis your economic status, your social status, your political status then you have gotten it wrong and that is the reason why people go take offices uh, uh, calibrating themselves based on what they stand to gain from the offices and the society is not helping matters the solar society celebrates corruption you will see some somebody who just getting into office in a matter of few months his affluence and style of living is not commensurate with his earning yet you will come and be having uh, turning his uh, house as the Eldorado pilgrimage point Yes, if we want citizenship engagement, then really budget should be made as a, 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 a the ownership of the budget should be meant to be uh, to, uh, to the citizens. Budget should not be something that should be surreptitiously kept in uh, uh, lock and key for the uh, citizens without even knowing. Budget should really be publicized so that the civil society organization will be able to see how much is allocated to so so just in how much, so that in tandem with the uh, Freedom of Information Act, in tandem them with so many other pro pro uh, provisions, the whistleblower policy and so many other these things, the civil society group will be able to tickle and amortize the seriousness with which we should be governed. That is one. Secondly, uh, during the public debates, I think uh, this system the National Assembly is making that you don't enter National Assembly until you have invitation is wrong. People, citizens should be allowed to go there and partake in real national debate. Anything that is uh, uh, a public uh, uh, matter of public debate, citizens should be allowed to go and participate. And at the same time too, I think uh, uh, ombudsman should be really be, uh, uh, strengthened. And then <coughs> anti-corruption agencies should be up and doing so that citizens will have the freedom, will have the leverage to be able to uh, report any breach. And the government too should be serious. Government should begin to sanction all those hearing officers that continuously will be violating uh, budgetary provisions and the rest of it and there should be synergy there should be integration of the, uh, the, 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 the the interest of the executive the legislature and the uh, judiciary towards advancements of the course of nation building